go, let's go. It is episode 571, Soul Not For Sale podcast. Coach Colin here, and let's get right into it. It is Tucker Carlson, Adam Carolla, and they're discussing CNN news anchor Wolf Blitzer. Adam Carolla just asks a question kind of out of nowhere. What do you think about Wolf Blitzer? Tucker Carlson laughs and then continues to go into a whole and I've said this before when it comes to Tucker Carlson, he's like a mainstream media whistleblower and he's not speculating like a lot of us tend to be. When we think about things in the deep state and, and agencies having connections to mainstream media, a lot of us can say, well, I can see it. I see it happening, but we're not in the we're not in the rooms. We're not in the newsrooms. We don't see what they're handed. We don't know about the conversations they have behind closed doors. But Tucker does, and he speaks with complete authority in this. He is not speculating. He's like, I know for fact. And what he's discussing is the connection between mainstream media and the intelligence agencies. Just out of nowhere. Just like amazing. Amazing for him to have the balls, quite frankly, to say things like this and to call out all of mainstream media. Because for you to call out Wolf Blitzer, Anderson Cooper, Don Lemon, all these people, that's fine when you just think of them, Rachel Maddow, when, that's fine when you think of them as just those people. But when you know that they are strongly connected to those agencies and they're in a sense the meat puppets of those agencies, well then when you call them out, you are knowingly, especially in Tucker's situation, you're knowingly calling out those agencies as well. You know that's what you're doing. So God bless, God bless Tucker for doing that kind of thing. Let's go to that clip. Before I do, of course, you know I have to bring you to IamCoachColin.com where you can get the public enemy number one t-shirt, hoodie as well, we have that right here. Google the World Economic Forum. Google Agenda 2030. You'll understand why this man is public enemy number one. We also have the certified pure blood shirt for those of you that survived the pandemic untainted. Keep your blood pure. Over the next 12 months, you will be tested again. And of course, the shot heard around the world, Mr. Donald Trump. Hello, sir. Here he is. We have that in hoodies as well. And we have the newest design, We the People. If you don't, <laughs> we got one gentleman saying you will own nothing and be happy. And we have a bunch of people letting him know exactly what we think about that statement. All of that's available on IamCoachColin.com. And if you want 10% off, all you have to do is put in the discount code IamCoachColin. You put that in, it's all capital letters, all one word, one L in the name, Colin, and that gets you 10% off. And if you've already chose to do that with us, thank you so much. Your support means everything everything you have no idea all right let's get into that clip sort of elder statesman of news and just sort of lied right through through covid and, and many other subjects why would he do that why would he do it to his legacy um you know i worked with wolf for years never had a problem with him um it was always nice uh you know that no one wants to hear it and i'm sure most people won't believe it but i can tell you having lived it for many years it's true uh, the intel agencies have a big effect on what is broadcast on television and what you see on Facebook and Google as well. I mean, they're all up and down Facebook and Google, as I'm sure you know. And, um, you know, there are a lot of anchors who, and including people I know well and have worked with at different networks. I'm thinking of one in particular, a national security reporter, who was just a mouthpiece for the Pentagon and the CIA and is knowingly telling lies on their behalf. That's very, very common, very common. And I can think of a number of people at CNN who I know for a fact are doing that exact thing. And so, I mean, they're reading government propaganda from the intel agencies knowingly. And I'm sure they've got some internal rationale that allows them to get up in the morning and face themselves despite having done something that dishonest. But I'm just telling you, bottom line, I know that is, a, that is true. I'm not speculating at all. Um, and in particular on the national security stuff, there are very well-known national security reporters, and I'm thinking of one female national security reporter in particular, who just reads lies from the national security state. And it's wildly frustrating. And it would just make me mad. I mean, even if I don't agree with the lies, okay, but even if I did agree with the lies, I would be offended because they're lies. They're lies. 
like when the, you know, when CIA and the Pentagon were claiming that Bashar al-Assad used poison gas against his own people. Okay, There was there was no evidence that was true. I, I mean, maybe it was true. There was no evidence it was true. None. Zero. And I called them out and they could not provide any evidence. And yet every national security and it was a big deal. I mean, we killed a lot of people in response. We sent in missiles and killed a lot of people. We took human life in response to that claim. And it was, as far as I can tell, a lie. And every national security reporter, every channel repeated it uncritically. The Biden administration blew up Nord Stream and, you know, created the largest act of industrial sabotage in history, the largest man-made CO2 emission in history in environmental crime. This is a huge deal this happened. And every national security reporter just looked right into the camera and said, well, we think Russia did it. Well, they knew Russia didn't do it. That's a lie. And they knew it was a lie. So I, I just think... And again, I'm not speculating. I spent my life in this business, so I've seen it. People underestimate the degree to which the people sitting on the news, possibly even Wolf Blitzer, are, are repeating talking points from the intel agencies and doing it on purpose. It's scary, man. Really scary. Well, one of the e interesting experiments I have for knowing if people are lying is when they say they know something that's not knowable. So they... <laughs> It's like it's crazy how many hard and fast political opinions are formed from like Wikipedia, which is itself, you know, curated very precisely by the intel agencies, the U.S. government, by liars in order to distort history. But like if you get outside of Wikipedia, you can get facts pretty easily. It's not that hard. Uh, final question. How'd you find? Whoa. Whoa. And right away, as he was saying that, I didn't do this before, but I was like. I need to actually look this up because I know where Tucker Carlson used to work. He's like people he's worked with. He worked for CNN and then he worked for Fox. Let me just double check that. Yeah, CNN, Fox. On television, he was on Crossfire, Tucker Carlson tonight. Yeah. So, CNN. And I liked how he spoke about Wolf Blitzer. He's saying... You know, possibly Wolf Blister, but it seems like he knows a little something. But let's pull up. Let's pull up some people. I mean, I'm not saying here or there, but all I'm doing is pulling up people that someone who is not speculating and knows for fact is reading CIA talking points. You know, let's uh, let's pull some of these people up. Let's see some names. Boom. Let's make the screen smaller. That's a face, but let's put a name to it. No, I want I want to see the whole I want to see the whole thing so I can see the name. Yeah, there we go. Here I'll, I'll even get I'll I'll put myself up here even. Let's let's make sure we see these people. See these people for who they are, right? Very interesting. So Natasha, see, it's very interesting. I'd love to know when she started working. Cuz he did say one female in particular. You know, this is Nasha, uh, Natasha Bertrand. So that's one. This is National Security Reporter. And, you know, I'll even make the screen a little smaller just so you can verify. Just so I'm not pulling up random people. That's Natasha. Who else we got? Oh, we got Jim, anchor and chief national security analyst. Jim <laughs> Sayudo. Pooh. Okay. So that gentleman, we got Zachary Cohen, CNN, national security reporter. We got Kylie Atwood, national security correspondent. That could be one of them that he was talking about. He, like, like I said, he said female, right? One in particular he's thinking of. Alex Marquadrit, <laughs> uh, senior security correspondent. I know I'm butchering these names, but... Don't really care for these CIA types. I'm going to be honest with you. And then we have this gentleman, David uh, Insor. Look at that. We got a bunch of people. And then we have this. It just says reporter. I put in national security. He came up. But for sure, these people, these people right here, are the ones that he's talking about. Now, I mean... Easily, we could I could give the benefit of the doubt and say, well, things have changed since Tucker was at CNN, and I, I could I could do that, but I'm not going to, because I don't think things have changed that much. 
at that uh at that establishment at that organization especially after seeing how they treated joe rogan right so we have natasha we got jim remember these faces you know maybe you're someone who likes to watch cnn i got no problem with that but remember these faces and remember what tucker said there are people who are knowingly reading these points i'm not saying here or there that it's any of these people but he was just talking about national security people he was talking about where he used to work and that was cnn so yeah, zachary there kylie atwood alex yeah I, and i'm doing this because i want to remember these people myself how many are like this how many do this knowingly do this how many of them i wonder look at that i'm just going through the same people i, just, I want you to remember that's all <laughs> don't forget i love that he said a, a female in particular i wonder if they worked at the same time i wonder hmm well either way you saw those names a few times. You can go back and, and check it out. When did Tucker start working for uh, CNN? Oh, did I close that? Let's just put that in again. Tucker Carlson used to work where? Used to work at CNN from 2000 to 2005. PBS from 2004 to 2005. MSNBC from 05 to 08. Fox News from 09 to 2023. You know, thank God that he went into that interview with um, Mateus Desmond and they had that conversation about mass formation because that that interview lit his brain on fire and he was never the same after that. And they had that interview at about 2019, I believe, maybe even 2018. And if you see his work started becoming more and more truthful from that point on. You know, it always takes a certain person. It could be anybody that triggers your brain and makes you realize that you can't stay quiet about things anymore. So thank God he ran into that, that intelligent man. I just wonder when these people started working, knowingly giving these points. The fact that he's willing to say that. When did insert name start at CNN? She started at CNN. Whoa, this girl. So one of them that I just put in. So this lady here, Natasha. Check this out. So Natasha. Natasha, the story breaker. So check this out here. Oh, you guys can't see it. Let me bring it down here. Let me move. Let me, no, no. Move my screen. Move me broke the story that more than 50 CIA officials signed a letter stating their opinion that the emails belonging to Hunter Biden all had a classic earmarks of Russian information. Bradford joined CNN as a White House reporter covering national security in 2021. Now, this isn't even towards what I was looking for, but I just find that interesting. Hmm. You know, when we talk about well, when I talk about the deep state, maybe you talk about the deep state at home over dinner as well. But when we talk about the deep state, you can't forget these people in media. They are also a part of the deep state. And it doesn't seem like it because when I think of the deep state, and I'm just realizing this now, but when I talk about the deep state, I'm thinking of like directors of agencies. I'm thinking of people who have been in positions of power for decades I'm thinking of the guys behind the scenes that are sending agents out to certain places, collecting information. But you can't forget about the people in the media. They actually serve a huge part of the deep state because the deep state, they execute, my opinion, they execute what they want done through levels of the government. But then they also execute what they want public opinion to be through the media. And common sense to some people, I'm sure, but not to everybody. Not not to me. I mean, I understand that now and for years, but huh, it's very, very interesting. Let me know what you think about all of that. 
And next time you see those people on screen, let's say you're someone that watches CNN, start thinking about what they're talking about and how much it lends itself to a necessary opinion for the public to have. Start start thinking about that. I'm going to start thinking about it, too. I'm going to start looking them up and seeing stories they've broken and whatnot. But let me know what you think of all that. What do you think of Tucker airing that dirty laundry out? You know, where you already you already suspected that because I'm I'm in that camp. I'm in the camp where I already suspected this. But when someone I know has been in the ranks of all this. And now they're saying it, it's different. I suspect that there's aliens. But if all of a sudden some pilots like, I held an alien, I'm going to be like, I'm still going to be mind blown. It confirms what I thought, but I'm still going to be like, holy, this is really happening. So that's where I am right now with what Tucker has just told us. Like the video if you haven't liked the video already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're making one to three videos a day. I don't know anybody else doing that. And other than that, I am out.